Goalkeeping is without a doubt the hardest position on the pitch, but you could be making it a lot more complicated than it should be. In today's video, we're going to be going through how you can become a better goalkeeper, and that starts off by mastering the basics. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your skills, understanding these key aspects is crucial for success between the sticks. Set position, handling, and footwork. Three simple steps that a lot of goalkeepers forget about when in a game like Scenario that will make goalkeeping just that bit easier without you even realizing it. If you focus on these three things throughout training and matches, I guarantee you will see an improvement in your game and I'm going to help you break down some drills you can do to help with that. Now, just before we get into these drills, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support on the videos lately. I've been getting an endless amount of comments asking for goalkeeper tips and how-to videos. So if you do enjoy this video and you'd like to see more of these, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and maybe even give it a like and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. First up, let's talk about the importance of set position. Your set position forms the foundation of your goalkeeping stance, dictating your readiness to react to shots and crosses. We'll discuss the optimal positioning of your feet, body and hands to maximize your coverage and agility in the goal mouth. For this drill, you're going to want to line up some cones in a semicircle around the goal line. The first thing you always need to be conscious of is making Make sure you keep your feet shoulder width apart and on your toes, knees bent and arms at the set ready position. To improve your set position, you're always going to want to have your body in between the ball and the goal. Have someone move from side to side with the ball at their feet and always keep your body in between the ball and the goal while keeping in line with the cones. Subconsciously, this will massively improve your set position. Having those cones there gives you that awareness of where you're meant to be, but soon this will all just come naturally to you. Slowly as you build up your experience with your set position, you'll see in training and eventually match days that you'll be making a lot more saves than you might be right now. You probably heard of the saying, being in the right position at the right time. That's a perfect explanation of a good set position. If your set position is good, things like one-on-ones and shots within the box will become a lot easier for you to save. And most of the time, since you're in the right position, it almost ends up hitting off you rather than you stretching towards something like your near post to try and make a save. Close it! Away! No! Oh! Next up, we'll tackle handling. As a goalkeeper, your ability to confidently catch, parry, or block shots is fundamental to your team's defense. We're going to explore three different techniques for three different types of shots that you could be faced to deal with. The W catch, the basket, and the pickup or scoop. For the W catch, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anywhere from the chest up should almost always be a W catch. When the ball is approaching you, you're going to want to have your hands in a W position with the tip of your thumbs almost touching together. Anything between your chest and your knees should be a basket catch, leaving the ball almost fall into your stomach and wrapping your arms around the ball in a basket to keep it from bouncing back out. Anything from your knees down becomes the scoop or pick up. There are two different ways you can scoop or pick up the ball here. The safer way and my preferred way would be dropping your knee. This involves dropping one knee to the side behind the ball and scooping the ball up and having your knee there as an extra line of defense in the chance the ball slips through your arms. The other way would be to not drop your knee and to keep your legs wide open. But bear in mind, this is a lot more risky as you need to make sure your handling is 100% because if it's not, it's very easy for the ball to slip through your hands and end up in the back of the net. Now, as much people always say you need to hold on to shots, this isn't always true. A good parry away to the side is just as good and if not even better in certain scenarios when it comes to facing shots. A good example would be if you're not 100% sure you're going to be able to hold on to the ball, let's say you're facing a powerful shot from outside the box. The best thing you can do is to parry it out wide and far from your goal mouth. The worst thing you could do in this situation would to be to try and hold on to the ball, let it slip out of your hands and into the feet of any oncoming attacker rushing in. A good example of goalkeepers practicing parrying out would be Manuel Neuer. You always see him doing this specific drill to make sure he parries the ball away from the goal, whether that's out wide or over the bar. Yes, Dad! Hold 
Moving on to footwork, a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of goalkeeping. Your footwork determines your ability to cover your goal effectively, narrow angles, and quickly shift direction to make those game-changing saves. We'll break down drills and exercises to improve your agility, balance, and explosiveness between the posts. The first drill to improve your footwork is a simple cone drill. Line four cones up from the center of the goal and practice your explosiveness in stepping both feet inside the cones with a small sprint to finish off. There is also multiple different ways you can do this drill, including straight on, as you can see here, in between the cones like this, and sideways left and sideways right. Being able to play with the ball at your feet as a goalkeeper drastically improves not only your game, but your team's performance, as it gives them another outlet in times of need. This drill here is to help improve your footwork in a match realistic setting. Starting in the center of the goal, you're going to want to turn towards the player with the ball at his feet and call for it. When receiving the ball, make sure you open your body and touch the ball with the opposite leg you're going to pass with. Then make sure you play a good pass to the opposite side player. Take it as if you were receiving a ball from your left back, taking a touch and passing it to your right back. Getting used to the ball at your feet in your box in training sessions will definitely lessen the pressured or even nervous feeling when doing it during a game. Because at the end of the day, the goalkeeper's position has changed drastically in the past couple of years. Goalkeepers such as Neuer, Ederson and Ter Stegen, just to name a few, are prime examples of goalkeepers who are good with their feet. And it makes such a difference to how a team can play. Now, I'm not going out and saying that you should be the next sweeper keeper like Manuel Neuer doing skills outside his box. But being confident with the ball at your feet and having your teammates be confident in you too can be such a weight off your team's shoulders. Finally, we're going to bring all these elements together in a drill designed to stimulate real game scenarios. This drill will challenge your set position, handling and footwork all together under pressure, helping you develop reflexes needed to excel in the heat of the moment. For this drill, you're going to want to set up four cones creating a box, each cone about two to three steps apart. The five movements in this box are going to be forwards, backwards, sideways, turning out and diagonal catch. Having someone with you to serve the ball for this drill would really be necessary. So if you have someone, perfect, but if you don't, grab one of the outfield players to kick the ball at you, you'll be fine. Forward, backwards, and turning out are all pretty self-explanatory. But for the diagonal catch, this is more of a match-like scenario where you're not in your set-ready position and you must start at the front cone as if you're about to sprint forward. Think of it as the ball is about to be shot and you use your footwork to get into your set-ready position at the line at the back of the cones to receive the ball. And there you have it. Three simple steps and a final drill to put them all together to help you improve as a goalkeeper. The best advice I could give and if you could take one thing away from this video is to always be conscious of what you're doing in the goal. As long as you train hard, those match days will be a lot more enjoyable in between the sticks.